All right, all right, all right. This is Leland Best out at Leland Best Live. Just doing a little test on YouTube and creating a recording with a program called FF Split. So very similar to OBS. Uh, this is obviously somewhat of an open source uh, program. Let me take you over to uh, the website. Let me pop it up on my screen over here. So this is my first time using FF Split. So I'm going to pop canvases over. Let's see if we can hold on to uh, the microphone when we do this. Yes, we can. Uh, so this is FF Split. It is a third-party th uh, video encoder, which uses FFmpeg. And it's not a new technology whatsoever. It's actually the one that most streaming platforms are based on. Uh, but I wanted to come out here and let you guys see that you can download this for free. Uh, when I did download the freeware, it did come back with a quick update to a 0.6 version. Uh, so if I can check real quick here, I'm actually in 0.7.0 test build 26 on this particular software. So I simply downloaded it here, uh, or you can head over to the download page over here, and you can see the requirements that are necessary. Uh, VC++ runtime 2012, the Net Framework 4.5, and the latest DirectX runtime, along with a dual-core CPU uh, or an AMD Phenom 2, which these are older class CPUs. And Windows Vista is the minimum. I'm actually running in Windows 10 uh, at 720p, so I'm pumping out a signal at 1280, 720, at 25 frames per second. Uh, my bandwidth looks really good. My encoder quality is high. My status is live, and my bitrate's running anywhere between 600 and 3,300 kilobytes per second. So the average bitrate out is about 1,600 kilobytes per second. It told me I would be good to have about two to, well, actually four megabit uh, upload speed in order to be able to run what I'm doing currently, which is both running live video uh, through my Logitech C920 and uh, recording. So I'm heading out to Facebook Live, to my Facebook Live, or I'm sorry, YouTube Live page. So if you see me out there on YouTube, hello out there on YouTube. Let's go take a real quick look and see if the broadcast is actually coming out. So we'll see what's going on out there. Uh, this is, again, first try at this software. Uh, looks like I'm live, so I'm going to head over to the recording page, or the broadcast page, see if the live stream showing the way I want it to. I'm going to mute the tab. Well, look at that. Quality is fantastic. Uh, I don't see any real lag. It looks like it's probably 10 or 15, 20 seconds behind, like normal. So I'm going to just wave my hand. I'm going to count. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, about nine, ten seconds. So, not too bad for a delay heading out to YouTube Live. I don't know if the sound's working. I'm going to guess that it is because I see my meter bouncing. I could probably turn it up a little bit just to make sure we've got some audio going. I'm at about 140% on my mic. Uh, we'll see how that affects the broadcast quality of the sound out there on YouTube Live when I play it back. But this, if I can give you a chance real quick, let me show you the encoder itself back over at FF Split. So again, this is very much like OBS. So if I head back to the main page, and I apologize, my eyes are a little dry right now. Uh, you can probably see in the image, let's see if I can do this for everybody. I'm going to shoot that down. I'm going to fire up, zoom it real quick. And I'm going to see if I can't zoom in on this page for you guys a little better. So you can actually see what the software looks like. And you will see that it is very, whoop, that image is a little bit dull. So um, probably not the best way to do that. Let's do it this way. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to copy. I'm going to do a quick screenshot. Okay. So this is for my sake, basically. I'm going to take a picture of what I'm in right now on my first monitor so you guys can see this. I'm going to drag this over to the other screen. This is just going to take a second. And then I'm going to switch monitors. Now my image is going to look kind of, I'm going to freeze on you guys basically. So when I switch canvases, boom, there I am. Okay, so this is a capture of the frame that I'm in over on the other side. So as you can see, very much like OBS, uh, almost the exact same layout, I, 
I see the video quality is phenomenal coming into it. Uh, there is a switcher that I haven't checked into too much, and you do have a preview tab that you can pop open that allows you to have a preview of what's heading out to the feed. Now in this case, I have three layers going. I have my screen monitor layer off currently because I actually have two different canvases. I have a default canvas, which is what I'm running on uh, when I have my camera on. So right, right now when I'm broadcasting out to YouTube Live, this is my default canvas. It's simply my camera and a little overlay that I can move around with my logo on it at, at any time. So I can bring that out. I could bring in another image. Uh, I could bring in uh, several different things. I could bring in my uh, another desktop or a window. So I could actually play video through here in an overlay into YouTube Live or even into Facebook Live if I wanted to. I could head out Facebook Live with this. This runs, I believe, let's see. I think it runs only on a PC because it mentions Windows. It doesn't say anything about uh, Mac. So I would expect this is only PC download. Yeah, that's what I'm catching anyway. I don't see much else there saying anything about Mac, although uh, it is open source software, obviously, because it's free. But it looks like it's primarily set up for the PC. And then if I flip over to Canvas, then I've basically snapped over to my other desktop, which is where you were seeing the image capture that I had showing the interface. So that's where I went from the default canvas to canvas one, and I simply went over to my secondary monitor. So uh, obviously I can't change the images here, but you have your you know your output scale and your uh, sound scale for your mic. So if you had another output feed in here, you could probably hook up some audio for sound, music, uh, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, you can do some quick windows and regions, and I haven't tried the quick text, so let's head over back to my default canvas, and I'm going to try some quick text and see what happens here. So if I type this as a test, and I hit OK, oh, look at that, there we go. So we get our little test text down here. So you could almost use this for a couple things. I could just stretch this out a little bit. Oh, I guess it just disappears. So it is just that. It's quick text. Once you touch it and mess with it, it goes away. Or is there... Nope, here's a quick test layer. Uh, I think I, sh I I folded it somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it. The thing I don't see is how to drag uh, the actual layers around. I haven't determined. Maybe if I... Ah, here we go. Okay, so I can, I can move them up or down. So let's move them... Let's move this one down to the bottom. And then I'm going to move it back up. Let me move it up. It says it's visible. Um, not real easy to move stuff. So I wish there was another way. Let me do another quick text layer. Looks like uh, that test wasn't quite the way we wanted to see it. Uh, so I could do something like this. And it'd make a quick lower third, like an instant lower third. If I, oops, I didn't type that very well, did I? I made my eye too big, so let me double click in there, see if I can change that. No, I don't think I can. See, once you do it, that's it. So I actually made a capital I for live when I shouldn't have. I didn't take my time. But anyway, so you can see you could do something like this real quick, like on the fly, create uh, what looks to be a pretty good stream. Um, honestly, I'm not too disappointed. So let's try this real quick. I'm going to head over to my other screen again. So I'm going to snap over. I want to try a video. So I'm not going to play my, well, I'll show you my other screen where you can see me on YouTube Live. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't play the video uh, of where I'm at over on YouTube Live. And we'll see if that comes through the feed. I'm going to have to make sure I'm pumping the signal through. Yes, it's coming through over here on B1. So as soon as I unmute BCB Live on YouTube Live, it should start to play the video over there into the feed. Over on, I'm at, over on, on YouTube, YouTube live feed, feed. I'm going to have to make sure I'm pumping the signal, signal through. through. Yes, yes, it's, it's coming, coming through over here on B1, so as soon as I unmute, unmute ECB live, live on YouTube live, live it should start to play the video over there, there into, into the, the feed. feed. How do you like that? Okay, so I've just sent you video through this particular encoder out to YouTube live in a broadcast, very simply done, 1280720p. Uh, and I'm actually recording this on the back end, so if you didn't see that, let me just uh, show you another little thing that you might not have caught. So I'm back here to the screen here. You can see the data rates here of everything that's being sent out on this particular stream. Now the one thing you didn't see was that I'm actually sending out a recording of this to an mp4 file on my computer while I'm doing the show. So I'll not only have 
a YouTube live recording set up for me on the back end of YouTube, but I'll also have a local recording available of this product, or of this production, I should say. And we'll see how that came out. I'm not sure what the quality will be like, or if there's been any stagger on YouTube Live. We'll have to go back and see if there's any lag, and take it from there. So, this has been Leland Best out Leland Best Live, just showing you another little play toy to get out there and broadcast in the live streams. Come see us at bcblive.com. We'll talk to you next time, guys. See you in the next video.